Hydrostatic test procedure. Small diamond hydrostatic test for heat exchanger. This test checks if the heat exchanger can handle pressure and has no leaks. Step 1. Pre-test preparation. Check mark check documents. Know the exchanger's design pressure and test pressure. Check PID, isometric, and GA drawings. Make sure pressure gauges and hydro pump are calibrated not older than 6 months. Check mark loto and isolation. Isolate the exchanger. Apply lockout, tagout to all related valves and electrical parts. Check mark cleaning. Clean the inside of the shell and tube side. Use hydro jetting or chemical cleaning to remove dirt. Check mark blinding plugging. Blind all nozzles. Keep bottom nozzle open for water filling. Keep top vent open to release air. Plug the opposite side completely tube side or shell side, whichever is not being tested. Step 2. Water filling. Check mark use clean water. Must be chloride free especially for stainless steel. Temperature should be around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Check mark filling method. Fill from the bottom nozzle. Keep vent open to remove trapped air. When water flows out of the vent without bubbles, it's full. Step 3. Pressurization. Check mark calculate test pressure. As per ASME rules, test pressure equals 1.3 times design pressure adjusted for temperature. Check mark pump setup. Use hand or motor pump. Attach two calibrated pressure gauges one near pump, one on exchanger. Check mark pressure stages. Increase pressure slowly. 25%, 50%, 75%, then 100%. Hold for 5 to 10 minutes at each stage. Step 4. Holding inspection. Check mark hold pressure. Maintain full test pressure for 30 to 60 minutes. Check mark inspect carefully. Check weld seams, flange joints, gaskets, and nozzle welds. Look for water drops, sweating, or pressure drop more than 1% means leak. Step 5. Depressurizing draining. Check mark release pressure slowly. Use bottom valve. Never open vent quickly. This may cause water hammer or injury. Check mark drain completely. Drain both shell and tube sides. Dry using compressed air, nitrogen, or keep it open in a dry area. Lock important safety tips. Always wear full PPE, helmet, gloves, goggles, and raincoat. Put barricades and warning signs around the test area. Never exceed 1.5 times design pressure unless approved. Stay away from the front of flanges or hoses during testing.